What's good, the internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to a gameplay preview of Such Art, the Genius Artiste Simulator, launching on Steam and early access on July the 14th for a price of $19.99. Let's load in here. This is a game about creating your own masterpiece artworks on canvas while currently on a space station as robots wage war on planet Earth or something along those lines. There's some plot in the background of this game, but it is primarily a game about making your own artwork and taking commissions and that kind of thing. So we have some commissions to get to here on the show today. And the first being from a crab. So we have the crab guy here and he wants typical human art. Paint a typical human with a very beautiful earth beach. And he'll give me a decoration for that. So I'll accept that mission there. And then Filthy Monster here, or I guess Dorian666 wants a dark horror. A, a bear mixed with a scorpion that is a zombie. So those are my kind of two, two missions here. A regular human on a beach and the whole bear zombie thing. And that is on a... He's not saying which size of canvas here. That's, that's always a good thing. This guy wants a big canvas. So I will do the human on a small canvas and the uh, bear, scorpion, zombie on a large canvas. But yes, this game is very much about like being a realistic art sim, sort of. At least in how the paint operates and, and how the general vibe on what you do with the canvas stuff seems to be very much well thought out in a realistic fashion. So I can actually go over here and descend and make sure that I'm on the right thing here, which is uh, Earth Beach and a decoration. So we have our canvas and we need some other colors here. So I'm gonna put this over here for a moment and grab this deal here and then rotate. And there is a wide, wide, wide variety here of colors. They pick one here and then kind of pick of the shades over here. Say, I want that for my beach. Let me go over there and just give me some paint on this palette here. I have a variety of tools and there are more tools to unlock. So we can kind of get our roller here and then paint on this thing. Now, obviously art is subjective and I don't know if the game is really kind of doing the judging your artwork thing because I put in some pretty uh, not so great art and such and it's been fine thus far it's been you know reasonably okay and it's not particularly giving me a harsh judgment on that artwork so i don't know if that eventually be becomes a thing but at this stage in the game it is not very oops i hit the wrong thing there wash it off uh at this stage of the game it has not been much of a thing in terms of how they judge you on what you create which is fine man because art is indeed subjective so we have our ocean we have the sky i'm gonna get some yellow in here for the sun with this brush now i'll get this brush here wash it off give me some yellow you know pretty little sun here in the sky very bright very bright uh i can actually go over here into this guy here and get what's right left of that there i can't no all right is there any other yellow here no so I have to go get it. I might have some. I already used it all. Crud. Okay, look. That's fine. We'll go back to here and get in some sunlight in the yellow. There's all kinds of, like, paint mixing. And the, the paint stuff in here, I think, is very impressive from a tech standpoint. So I'm imp very impressed by, by the paint tech here. And certainly, if this were to be in VR, uh, I would be, perhaps be able to be better at it. But clearly... I am terrible at anything regarding drawing. It was not my forte ever. My sister, yes. Me, no. Um, so, that being said, uh, we want a human on the beach. So, I am going to go the good old drawing a stick figure route here. So, give me some of that. Uh, wash this off here. And I'm losing two cents on that. Two bucks? I don't know. I got a bunch of money in the bank. It's fine. So... A regular human stick figure here on the beach. He's very happy 
to be on the beach. Also, I want to perhaps give myself a umbrella as he is enjoying his time uh, on this, you know, holiday weekend and whatnot. I don't know. Um, so there is an umbrella. I can actually go over here with a different brush here, which is already red, which is good, and kind of get that filled in a little bit. And there you go, buddy. Uh, also, also, because why not, let's get a little bit of, say, maybe some darker blue, some deep dark blue, and do some of that. And then we'll go over to this brush here and get that. And we'll say, oh, he's not going in the water because, hold on, hold on, I f***ed that up. I screwed that up. Uh, what I wanted to do here was hit F to, to do that. And then say, oh, there's a shark in the water, but that kind of didn't work. Anyhow, Crab Man. This is a regular human piece of artwork, so I'm going to send this art to uh, the Crab Man. So, there you go. Send your painting. Um, and I have some more emails, and my fame is growing. They're curious about my artwork. I will show you. I can go look at my previous art uh, that I've done thus far about an hour or so into this game. So, I can head into my VR station. Uh, you can see all these things that are under cloth haven't been built yet. So a compressor to destroy small objects can be built. There are, there are things here that can be built in this game. But I'm going to head into the VR here. Into the virtual world. Not actually virtual, but ah, oh, it's bright. But here we are. And my amazing unicorn painting. Um, and that's supposed to be an angel, I think. And then we have that one's fantastic. And you know, I've, I've made some things in my... But also, this is upside down, so that's the one problem here is I've found is that you gotta manually uh, rotate, and it's that's hard to do for some reason. I don't know why that's difficult, and that I just, I just want to rotate. I don't want to move it. I want to rotate it so I can grab it, and then there we go, and then that's better. So there is my glorious pits of art, and also the moon and the trees i guess i don't know man look and also if you don't like it toss it in the garbage so that that is the vr section here in the game on that one i just all right i have more space here to display my artwork but right now i'm gonna have out here a vr just jack out of the matrix get disconnected in there on that and let's see what else i got here in my emails plenty of emails so grandpa here is ex is exploring the stars and that's uh weird also rugus here art what is art is it beautiful makes you think innovative provocative or something else tell me attack slug what does art mean to you art is there to provoke and make you think so there you go guy this one sold for 100 c human art received i sent the gift all right so the gifts and my orders, like I actually go here to the shop and order more bits here and bobs to paint with. All kinds of stuff, which is crazy. And yes, give me the water gun. That sounds hilarious. Let's do that. Now, it'll take an hour. It's not actually an hour. It's, you know, it'll count down. But anything I get there from that will be here. And I will hit the button to bring in my deliveries. Large and small. And so I'm kind of in my own little studio here making things and having a good time doing the art letting my muse do things and whatnot so now i have this here i can just kind of put it wherever i want in my vicinity here and put that right there beautiful beautiful now i do have missions besides the commissions and that is hitting the j button and i have all right got the second level of fame got that uh, I'm not sure how to get five painting, in, five paintings in my virtual gallery. I have more than five. It hasn't gone off yet, so I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong there. But also, make a painting using at least one unconventional tool, and I have one of those. So before I get to Dorian here, uh, I want to do my thing. Oh, hold on. First of all, I got my water gun. Let's get that from delivery. It is a small item, and there we go. Got my squirt gun. I'll bring that over here. Now, I can drop what I'm currently holding. So, if I want to put this, like, here. I can say, alright, I don't need to hold this 
sponge. I can just say, right over there, it's fine. And the sponge is when, alright, I've made a mess. So if I actually wanted to use a sponge here, it's, uh, get some water in there. And then scrub it off. You've made a mess. Fix it up. So I think that the just general physics involved in the paint stuff is pretty neat. And how this game handles it. But I'm not sure what the kind of overall arching goal besides making weird paintings. And as someone who's not very artistic, that's kind of a weird thing for me. But, you know, it's fun so far. Like, I'm, I'm having a, a good time messing around with the options that it gives me. So, unconventional art. Let's go with a 1v1 here. Get my canvas. Put it on here. Uh, and then I want to paint with the spoon. Like, I'm the tick. Spoon! And then splat. And then splat. So yeah, they give you some options here on things you can do, which I think is pretty neat. Uh, let's pick up our water gun. Now, can I put water gun in the... I, F is to pick target tube. Alright, so target tube, is it one of these? No, one of these. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Spraying with my water gun. This is my masterpiece. My masterpiece. And then I get this little spudgel thing here. And just some of that. And then just splat that across. And look at that. A masterpiece. And you can't tell me otherwise. So, for sale on the marketplace. Send it. I want a 200 bucks for that. And there we go. 200 space bucks for me. Now then. Uh, this dude wants a large canvas. So, we give him his large one by one canvas. It will come in here onto this thing, and it'll be pretty freaking big. Like, bigger than I can actually operate on, but that is why I have an elevator to do those kinds of things. But, I do want to see what he wanted again, and I want to say it was a dark... Alright, it was the bear scorpion zombie uh, he wanted. So, a bear scorpion and a zombie. So, we need some uh, brown... For the bear, some red for the tail, and oh, I've already got things here on the. Yeah, it gets messy here, man. It's art. Art is messy. I'm gonna draw the world's worst bear because I'm bad at art. So we got some brown. Let's go darker than that. Here we go. And I want more than that because it's gonna be a lot. So, all right, plenty of bear-related things. I've done that. And my tasks continue. My commission, uh, yep. So, and also, because zombie, you'll need some green. So I'll get some zombie green here. There we go. All right, so we got brown, we got red, and we got green. And again, I don't know if the game actually particularly cares what you actually do and send. I think it might, but I'm not sure how much it actually really cares. So let's get... Oh, come on, man. Physics are happening. Do that. Both not. All right. So, wash it off. Wash it off. Let's get our brush. And let's get some brown. And then let's start with this and try to make it work. Try to make it work. Oh, not close enough. So, I'm going to kind of go like that, right? He's gonna have he's gonna have arms going like that because I'm bad at art but it's subjective I'm a beginner man I'm a beginner all right so the bears kind of like staring at you he's scary uh, he has his oh well, let's do that he's a scorpion right so he has the stinger of a tail that's gonna sting you or something or sting him I don't know. I don't care. And then we do want to go with the uh, this brush here to kind of give him the uh, teeth. And then just the dark black eyes of this bear. And... I think all that brown, so let's get our other paintbrush here and get some more fur on this bear. He's a furry bear. That's what he do. That's what he does, right? But we know that he's a zombie, 
because the inside of his eyes here are green. And that's how you know he's a zombie bear. So, zombie bear scorpion, we did that, we send that. Now, will it judge me harshly? I don't know. I really don't know. So far, it's been fantastic. They've all loved their paintings. So, perhaps at some point, they get mad about them not being very good. But how would an AI judge your painting? I do not know. So, back to my emails. Uh, as I am a two-star artist here in such art. And I have five unread emails. Good lord. My inbox is full. So, unread. What do we got? Hey. Hey, you. Hey. Also, that's my sister, so... Whatever. Alright, this guy wants me to do some geometry. This guy says, Nonsense! BS! Art is for customers who believe in all that nonsense. Just like you do. And they pay for it. It's about money. I'm sure he wants to have a commission here. So, alright. This guy here... Uh, has another commission for me. And... There we go. Some more text to read. And I say... Cool... Cool, 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 I guess. Haven't heard back from, uh, what's his face on his bear zombie. There he is. That's gross. I love it. You're crazy. So again, I don't think it really judges you on what you actually do. And it's all about you to make your own fun in designing your artwork. And I feel like that it is kind of cool that you're in this very... Space station-y, sci-fi, like, things on Earth are bad that are happening. So, that's... Like, the backstory of it is kind of compelling. I'm not sure if it's going to go anywhere, but I'm definitely down to find out. And yes, certainly spend money on building things like a sculpture. Give my sculpture. Fade out. Fade in. And what beauty awaits me... In my lounge, in my artiste studio, we have... Oh, uh, look at that. A sculpture of a tree. In a special. I like it. I like it. So, this is such art. It launches in early access on Steam on the 14th of July. And it is a price of $20 on the platform. I am a tax slug. More videos on this channel all the freaking time. I'll see you then. I'll see you next time. Answer your emails, and I'm out.